In this video, we will consider the rule when raising a product to a power, raise each factor to the power. Before we begin, we should remember what the word product means. A product is the result of a multiplication. For instance, the expression AB is a product because it's what results when you multiply A by B. Let's consider this first example. We have the quantity A, B, C, close the quantity, cubed. Here, we have grouping symbols, and an expression inside the grouping symbols being raised to the power. The important thing to recognize here is that the thing inside the grouping symbols is a product. It's a product because it's what we get when we multiply A by B by C. When raising a product to a power, raise each factor to the power. Since this fits that model, we can use this rule. Remember that a factor, or rather factors, are things being multiplied. So there are three things being multiplied here, so there are three factors, A, B, and C. The first factor, A, needs to be raised to the power because I'm raising each factor to the power. The power we're raising to is 3, so this is going to be a and raise it to the power, cubed. The next factor is b, I need to raise it to the power, and the last factor is c, and I need to raise it to the power. This gives me a cubed times b cubed times c cubed. Let's consider where this rule came from using the definition of an exponent. We can rewrite this expression using the definition of an exponent as this expression raised to the third power. That just means I need to multiply it by itself three times. So that'll be ABC times ABC times ABC. Here, since there is nothing but multiplication going on, the parentheses really don't matter. We can use uh, the associative property to get rid of them. So this is a, b, c times a, b, c times a, b, c. And now we can use the commutative property to change the order of multiplication. The order of multiplication doesn't matter. So we're going to group this a with this a and that a to give me a cubed. Let me do it this way so we can see very clearly what's going on. We're going to group this a with this a with this a. That's going to give me a times a times a. Then I'm going to group this b with this b and with this b. That's three factors of b that I can put together. All I'm doing is changing the order and I still have left c's. I have one, two, three c factors. Notice that I have all the same factors represented, but they're just in a different order now. Now I can rewrite this. a times a times a is a cubed. b times b times b is b cubed. And c times c times c is c cubed. Notice that when we used the definition of an exponent, we got the same thing that we got when we used the shortcut rule. And notice that the shortcut rule requires a lot less work than having to write all of this out. Let's consider a second example. Here we have 2g cubed times h, that whole quantity squared. A rule that we learned previously stated that when raising a power to a power, you multiply the powers. In order to apply that rule, the only thing inside the grouping symbols being raised to a power can be a power. There can be nothing more in those grouping symbols. Here we're noticing that there is a power in this set of grouping symbols, but it's not the only thing. There is also a factor of 2 and a factor of h, so we can't use the rule for raising a power to a power. Here we should check to see whether this is a product. A product is the result of multiplication. So this is 2 times g cubed times h. This indeed is multiplication, so I can use this rule. There are three things being multiplied here, a 2, a g cubed, 
and an h. And I need to raise them each to the power. I'll raise 2 to the power as the first factor. That'll give me 2 squared. g cubed is the next factor. And because this factor isn't just a variable or just a constant, it actually has an exponent, we should put it in parentheses. g cubed. And then we raise it to a power squared. The last factor is h, and we square it. Notice here there's more that we can do to simplify. We do know what 2 squared is. 2 squared is 4. And here, inside the parentheses, we only have a power, g cubed. And we're raising that, po <coughs> we're raising that power to a power. So we can multiply the powers using a rule that we learned previously. g cubed squared means to take the powers and multiply them. That'll give me g to the 3 times 2 power. And there's nothing I can do with h squared, so I bring it straight down. And the last thing I can do here is multiply that 3 by the 2, so this is going to be 4g to the 6th power times h squared.